It's the Garage Door Program. We're continuing on our remote radio shows, podcast shows, YouTube shows. Uh, Craig, who's on our program today? This hey, today guy right we got, here. Uh, we got Mike Milligan with us today. Mike Milligan and the Steam Shovel. Mike, yeah, Mike Indiana, Indiana Blues legend, I think, and uh, <laughs> one of the state's leading exponent uh, players of the blues. Uh, so, Mike, welcome to the Garage Door Program. Uh, hey, thanks, for having, thanks for having me. I see where we have some guitars back there behind you. Or uh, what are your instruments you have back there? Um, uh, let's see. Well, well a, couple, a few Strats and a BB King Lucille. Oh, oh sweet. Nice. Um, yeah, so, those are some guitars within arm's reach, really. Just stuff, <laughs> stuff that I can just grab. It. Well, I, you know, as Craig can tell you, I'm a, I'm a. We're both drummers, and I'm a gearhead as far as old vintage drums are concerned. You know, I'm one of those guys. Yeah, I just I'm working on my studio right now. It's taken me 12 years to get it together, um, and I've got a 1971 Ludwig, the black, black, blue and black oyster. Yeah, the, the, is that the the bowling ball oyster? What they call yeah, it, I think. The right? bowling yep. ball oyster. I've got one of those out there right now, and a 71 Rogers holiday kit too. Yes, those are great kits. Those are great kits. I've I've got an I've got a '68 transition bowling ball, uh, uh, 22, 13, 16 with a rail, and I've got a Rogers uh, Holiday 2012, 14. And the guys in the band just want to they want that. They love that. Yeah. Craig's got a uh, I would say yours is a '67. I'm guessing gold sparkle Ludwig. '68. Yeah, and it's sweet. It's I had sweet. those back in Muncie when. <laughs> and now we're up in Muncie. I remember that. That's a cool yeah. kid. Yeah, that's all nice right. Well, well, Mike, uh, let's let let's just get started. I know you played with a lot of people uh, throughout the years. How how long have you been going? How long have you been doing this? And uh, what got you started? Well, I've been playing music for most of my life. Um, but the Steam Shell Band, um, I started in '93 in Muncie. Um, I was in several cover bands and rock bands, and I was never the front man, really. I was always just a band, you know, I was a band member. I was always, but I was always sneaking in my, the stuff that I wanted to sneak in, the bluesy, soulful stuff. Um, and then the last band before Steam Shovel, I just was, you know, hey, I think it's time for me to really do my thing. Um, so in 93, I put out auditions and, um, auditioned a bunch of different people and I've had several several different band members throughout the years so it's been what 20 27 years Steam yeah. Shovel's been going um, and the latest version which is the final and best version I think is my little brother uh, on bass Sean Milligan and uh, drummer's Robert uh, Tiny Cook is what we call him Robert Cook Bobby Wayne he has lots of names um, <laughs> he's out of um, Connersville Okay. And he lives in he lives in Indianapolis. So, and that my brother's been with me since two thousand, and Tiny's been with us since oh gosh for about so. Okay. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know if I answered your question. No, that's fine. <laughs> well, that's fine. We're just talking. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I know Mike. You do come by it naturally. Uh, I know your dad, I did a little research, and your dad played with the Drifters, is that right, or? Right. When uh, when I was a little kid, my brother and I were, you know, rode on an old church bus throughout Arkansas and uh, Mississippi and all through the south. The Chitlin Circuit is what they called it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and my dad's band was the opening act for the Drifters. Wow. And then they would step back, and the Drifters would come out, and my dad's band played all their material for them a lot of um, theaters and gymnasiums and stuff that would have yeah. been like 1970 76 or so i was five and my brother was just one. <laughs> oh gosh that's got to be pretty cool though as a little kid getting to, to travel around with them and and see that yeah I, an influence, I would assume for you Looking back on it, yeah, I look back on it, I, I got to do some things. I'm still doing things that people don't normally get to do. And I didn't know any different. It was just, that's just the way it was. And my kids are kind of the same way. Um, they've grown up traveling in the van, 
um, traveling from place to place. We, they call it rock and roll nights or rock and roll weekend when they get to come with me. And we stay up really, really late and we get steak and shake and <laughs> sleep in a van or sleep in a hotel. And, um, you know, that's what they, they're, they're doing the same thing. All of our kids are. So that's awesome. It's a good uh, family time for you then. So you get to take them with you sometimes and you don't have yeah. to leave them behind on the road and stuff. Right. Yeah. Very and, cool. Uh, my dad and I had a band together in the mid to late nineties called Milligan stew. And that kind of fell apart. And we, I was doing steam shovel at the time and he was doing other things and it just kind of fell apart. But we just recently um, put it all back together with my dad. Oh, nice. Singing the guitar, guitar and singing and my brother playing bass. I'm playing guitar and singing. I got my son singing and my nephew, my brother's boy Raven um, playing drums. So oh. it's like, Oh. A Milligan, actual Milligan stew with <laughs> right. all of us. Um, before it was, Milligan um, stew, I like that. You know, my son wasn't involved and my nephew wasn't involved. It was some other people, but it was my dad and my brother. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. You, you were doing that in the mid-90s, right? The we're, first we're, time? We're milking it for all we can, you know. <laughs> sure. Mm. Well, Mike, I, who would you say as far as what you listened to was, yeah, a, was uh, amazing? Yeah, Milligan stew. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, who would you say would be a uh, was is a major influence on on you? I mean, as far as who you really, besides your father, of course, who you tuned into and said, "Oh, yeah, this is this is this changed my life." Um, I probably Stevie Ray Vaughan, and then everybody that influenced him, sure. which turned out to be a lot of my influences as well. Um, I, I always listened to to soul and. Uh, soul rock stuff growing up wilson pickett ray charles and stevie wonder um but when i got stevie stevie led me down a different path a historical path and made me go backwards um, as far as i possibly could go uh, not even just to robert johnson or charlie Patton, back to um african and slave roots mm -hmm. where that's involved in music and jazz how that influenced and how rural life America influenced early rural life and African slavery and African influence, how it, involved, how it influenced early American music. Um, oh, yeah. So that has really, inf you know, that Stevie took me down that path. And he's also, and Stevie has also taken me up to today, you know, I mean, it's brought me forward up to this very point. Oh, sure. I you know, sense, I think. I think a lot of us have that same kind of thing. For me, it was so bad. I would say that um, Stevie Ray Vaughan and all of his influences. Actually, when I first heard Stevie on the radio, I had to call my dad and, and say, hey, there, there's this guy on the radio that sounds an awful lot like you. <laughs> uh, vocally. Yeah. sound a lot like my dad. Wow. Uh, and at that time, you know, I, I, I was like, I couldn't really wait to be my dad's age so that I sounded like my dad who sounded a lot like Stevie <laughs> and I've passed that I've passed that age now so <laughs> but yeah a guitar you know Stevie led me to Helen Wolf and Hubert Sumlin oh those are all good ones yeah the Kings don't forget the Kings yeah, the I'm Kings, sure Albert, uh. Albert Collins every, every you know a lot of organ but, players uh, Hammond organ players Jimmy Smith Jimmy McGriff Groove Holmes, Joey DeFrancesco, you know, all of the Hammond organ guys as well. That's a good path uh, to Jimmy, get right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jimmy Smith has a great album called uh, Finger Licking Soul, and it just cooks. I got I told it Craig, right here. Oh, do you really? <laughs> That's a tough I, album I, to find. Gonna, I mean, my thing, my stuff is a mess in here, but it, it'll be very hard to find in here because it's probably <laughs> buried, but it's sitting right here, I promise. Um, there's a song on that album, I think it's called Plain Brown Bag. Yes. That's yes. one of my favorites. Yeah, that's a great I was ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah, it just rocks. But now, have you had a chance to meet uh, like Jimmy or Jimmy Vaughn or, or any anybody connected with, with Double Trouble or play with them? I mean, I played with Double Trouble. Oh, cool. Okay. Have, have you seen that video? 
I have no. seen that. Video. Yeah, have you found that video? Oh, you have Craig. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Um, How was I know, that? For I know you? some of Stevie's. Say what? How was that for you? How was yeah. that getting to play with them? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Believable. I, I mean, I don't think if I start thinking about it, my face will hurt from smiling. Um, well, we a friend of mine, his name is Bart Walker. He's um, with Hank Williams Jr. right now, but he's in Nashville. He's from Nashville. And he came to one of our shows. Actually, we met him at BB King's. We were performing on Printer's Alley in Nashville, and we went to BB King's for lunch and met this guy who's playing acoustic guitar. His name is Bart Walker. Well, we became friends, and he, he's come to a bunch of our shows. We've worked together on stuff. Um, he calls me up and asks me if I would want to come to Nashville and do a Stevie tribute show. It's been 10 years ago now. And I said, yeah. And then in the process of putting this thing together, he got a hold of Reese Winans, Stevie's keyboard player, and then in turn got a hold of Chris Layton and Tommy Shannon and the uh, Nashville horn section. And I ended up being their driver for the day as well, driving them back and forth ah. from rehearsals to dinner to, to the hotel. And so there's some, uh, we all got a, a songs, we had rehearsals. It was a, it was a great time. So I, I was, I got to drive Tommy and Chris around Nashville and to the show into rehearsals and stuff. And, and then I got to front them. I, I sang and played guitar with them doing <laughs> wow. a handful of Stevie tunes. Yeah, those were great. I listened Sold to them. And you did a great. House. Yeah, that was awesome. Mike, I, I know you're a pro I know you're a professional and stuff and used to it, but how long did it take you to go, holy crap, look what I'm doing? <laughs> um, oh, that night? Yeah. That particular night? The whole time. <laughs> um, I mean, the whole time was this was pretty surreal. I I knew them I knew my first song. I knew my time slot and I knew uh, the first song that I was doing that night. Um, and I'm standing, I'm out, I'm pacing the sidewalk outside the club talking to my wife and she's feeding me the lyrics to Crossfire because <laughs> I, I, I just do not want to forget them. Yeah. She's got the lyric sheet and she's reminding me of the lyrics of Crossfire. And then next thing you know, they're like, Hey ladies and gentlemen, Mike Milligan. And I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> and I run, run in the stage plugged in the guitar and we went but it was pretty surreal i mean it was uh definitely it's probably my favorite my favorite moment uh oh sure this, up to this point you really and from I a drumming believe it. from a drumming perspective his uh his i was talking to craig earlier about he's just the king of shuffles man i mean his shuffle is unique but it's just perfect uh you know anyway I'll tell you, I've never picked up a heavier, felt a heavier snare drum in my life. Um, I actually, he brought a snare drum. Chris Chris Layton brought his own snare drum, and it was a um, hand hammered bronze Black Beauty. So it's bronze shell, and it's a Black Beauty, and it's hand hammered, and I believe it's, it was like a an eight inch deep shell. It's yeah. humongous, and yeah. it was so heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it definitely has the same sound. I'm a huge fan. Oh, me too. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, I would have to say that's a long ways from uh, headliners in Muncie, right? Yeah, and I go by <laughs> there all the time. I'm by headliners because when I go to Muncie, I have to stop and get, I have to stop and get some Greeks pizza. Right, right. And it's right the next door to headliners, so yeah. I'm looking at the place. Yeah, it's right next door. Oh man, this place has changed quite a bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Headliners was a was a lot of fun. Yeah, I I think that's the first place I saw you. Yeah, it was at Headliners. Is that on campus there at Ball State? Is that is that yeah, it? Yeah, the village there. Okay. 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 You know that's that what I miss about the, it. Uh, the Sears dock, right? The warehouse. The Sears dock. Yeah. Yeah, we worked at the warehouse. Yeah, worked, yes. Yeah. That's that's yep. where we met, yeah. Well, I worked at the warehouse. You worked with and yeah. you worked with Willie Nelson. Yeah. <laughs> you remember Willie Nelson? Yes, I do. Wow, I just remember that guy. What a crazy guy. You didn't get on the bus, did you, Craig? And you lived no. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Different way. Craig, you, you lived a, you lived just a couple streets away from me, right? Yeah, on New York Avenue. You lived on Ball. Craig, like... you lived a couple streets. Yeah. We were just a couple streets away from each other. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Well, Mike. Uh, now, is there any like we'll, we'll we'll hopefully we can play some music or get some links to to this any particular album that that you have out and, and websites and that kind of stuff. We want you to be, go ahead and feel free to plug that away if you can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you want me to send you the link? Or I'll just send. I'll just send you the links, or do you want me to talk about it? Whatever both. you want to do. Let's do both. Let's do both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can easily, um, and and you guys could put it up on the screen, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So I could, uh, Felix, so you can easily find our YouTube channel. It's called um, Milligan Stratman. You'll see it right here. That's right. Here it is. And you can also find our website. Our website is mikemilligan.homestead.com. You'll see it right there. Um, let's see. Facebook, we're easy to find. Uh, Mike Milligan and Steam Shovel, five words. You'll find us. You type us in. We're the one of the first things to pop up. Um, yeah, we have a, a, a merchandise page as well. That's easy to find. Uh, it's on Bandcamp, and you can order. Go ahead. Oh. No, go ahead. We're having a little bit of lag yeah, here. Yeah. No, go ahead. Yeah. No, it's on Bandcamp. Mike. Yes, we have a. Nice page, Bandcamp. Um, you can get all of our like T-shirts and stickers and CDs and all that stuff to, right there and downloads. Um, it's, I think it's MMSS for Mike Milligan and Steam Shovel on Bandcamp. You can easily find us there. Everybody, vinyl, Mike? All that stuff I think out. that's all of our. Go no, ahead, I don't have any. I mean, I have vinyl. But I have vinyl, but nothing. Of, you're not going to catch me on vinyl. <laughs> It's kind okay. of passing. It's going to be. It's a. It won't be around much longer. I don't think. Oh yeah, George's yeah, yeah, going to yeah. keep it alive forever. I'm a big vinyl <laughs> head. I probably have gosh, seven thousand LPs. So I'm a big, big vinyl head. Been collecting for a long time. I mean, I'm the digital. I mean, guy. I love the collectability. I, I just like music any way I can get it. I mean, yeah, I like the cool, collectability yeah. factor of vinyl. But I'm afraid that if I put out a vinyl album, that's all that's going to be done with it. It's going to be put on a shelf. Um, I mean, and somebody's going to be like, hey, look how cool I am. I have the new vinyl. Right. But yeah, let's listen to it. Well, I don't have anything to play it on, but I sure have it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, um, my CDs aren't selling. CD, nobody's CDs are selling because yeah. nobody's yeah. listening to CDs right. anymore. Yeah. Nobody, yeah. There's a time factor. People don't have time to sit down flip an album over side a and side b and people right. don't have time or space so they're everybody's downloading digitally and my sales have dropped off i mean just totally dropped off does it but i love good no i say are you like you are you offering like are there the downloads are they like flak files are they high you know you got the high res and that kind of stuff available yeah, you can download on our on Bandcamp site. You can download them in like all kinds of formats and all kinds of um, qualities. And also, when you when you when you buy a CD, a physical copy, and I mail it to you, you get a free you get the free download as well. So you get the entire album free download plus some bonus material. I think if you um, if you order the CD online, you get the free download and some bonus material that's not on the the disc. Very cool. Yeah. And then, then go to Bandcamp there and just look up Mike Milligan and the Steam Shovel on Bandcamp. I think so. I think so. You can just type in Mike Milligan and Steam Shovel and find us there. Okay. Um, you were talking about vinyl. Um, I like stuff even before that. I, I've got an old Edison machine. I do and I've too. got an old um, RCA Victrola portable. Um, they call it a picnic uh, record player. And you crank it. And you lift oh, yeah. the lid. Yeah. Love that stuff. <laughs> now he's going to show me something. Yeah, yeah, I made up with it. As you can see, this is this is just a by the TV. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I've got an Edison too. I've got Edison cylinders. Oh, I'm yeah, I made up with it. Yeah, I've got an Edison cylinder. Um, it's called the Home Home Phonograph, sitting in my garage right now. That I don't know what to do with it. It, it works. I don't have the crank. I have the 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 flower. You know the 
yeah. projector thing. But I don't have any cylinders and I don't have a crank for it. A friend of mine gave it to me. I don't know what to do with it. It's well, Mike, I mean, I, if you are interested, I've got a couple extra cylinders and I've got an extra crank out of a machine that, that I use for parts. So if you want give your, you know, if you want to get together and, and get that thing working. What I like about that, about some of the Edison stuff is part of the blues, we forget we, we have the African side. But we also have the English hillbilly, hill people music that went into the blues as well. Um, I don't know if either one of you guys saw that Ken Burns new thing on country, country music. It was fairly I, interesting. It was pretty good. Did you oh, see I, it? Did I, you saw, know? I saw You did? I yeah. saw every part of it. Yeah. I thought it. it was very good. Very good. All right. Well, uh, Mike, thank you for taking about a half hour of your time with us here on the garage door. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, um, thanks a lot. And we'll look for us to be you guys Mike. Are What's that? Thanks, Craig. Hey, thank you. We appreciate it. I said, thank, yeah, thanks. Are you, you guys are down in Seymour? We are in yeah. Seymour, yeah. Yep. Seymour, Indiana. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. I'm actually in. A friend of mine. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Mike. I was going to say, a friend of mine just painted a huge mural of John Mellencamp. Oh, yeah. Um, that's right Seymour. next. Uh, that's right across the street from where I work. Uh, yeah, her name was Pamela. Cool mural. Yeah, her name is Pamela Bliss. Yeah, yeah. She did. Um, she's amazing. Mike, I met her and interviewed her for a, a, a podcast. Uh, got to talk to her. She gets to travel around, Craig, and, and that's what she does. I mean, she yeah. paints these murals. It, it just that's, blows that's me the way that she mural. has it's great. the mind to do that. What Mike's referring to is there's a big mural of Mellencamp. I don't remember. Is he in his jacket? Is he in his like? I'm, I'm losing you. Are you still there? Mike, still there? I'm here, but I, I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> I, I don't know. I had, I've, I've interviewed her, Pam, for a podcast I did, and I know she travels all around uh, doing murals throughout the, the states and even, you know, other places, or did. Um, but the, the Mellencamp thing, you need to check it out if you haven't seen it. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, I watched her do it. You're still painting, oh, okay. right, Mike? Yeah, I, Am, am I? Yeah, I'm still painting. Yeah, you're still, still painting, yeah. Um, there's one of my – can you see that Ray Charles back there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. I did, that's, I did that recently. That's amazing. Let's see. I'll show you. I'll take you back there. Let's see. I thought that was a photograph. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I thought that was a photograph. He's really good. He's a good artist. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Definitely captured captured Brother yeah. Ray. You see that? Yeah, yes. that's awesome. That is fantastic. Thanks. I did that. Um, what did I do? I did that Stevie tier too. Oh, wow. Uh, Those another... are good. Those are really good. Thanks. Yeah, Mike, I can give you my address if you'd like to go ahead and send Ray <laughs> down here to uh, wonderful Salem. That'd be... <laughs> All right. Well, this has been a, been an episode with Mike Milligan on the Garage Door Program. Mike, any closing uh, any closing thoughts or anything you'd like to shout out to anyone? I just hope everybody's doing well and safe and happy and healthy, and hope to see everybody out out and about real soon. We miss everybody. Thanks, Craig and Troy. Thank you guys. Hey, thank you, Mike. Oh, Thanks welcome. a lot. We appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Have a good.